Every time I survived a war zone, I thought I was sending a warning home. Don't do this. But here we are. There's some kind of misunderstanding here. What? Well, you're American, OK? OK. Well, what kind of American are you? You don't know? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to another movie review. I just got done seeing the new A24 movie, Civil War, by Alex Garland, uh, the guy that directed Ex Machina and Annihilation and Men um, and whatever. I don't know what else he's done. I just know those. Um, I've only ever seen Ex Machina out of his movies, so I'm not super familiar with him. But if you've seen Ex Machina, you know that's a really great movie. I've never heard anybody complain about that film. Um, that one is top-notch. Um, again, I haven't seen his other stuff, but uh, yeah. Um, seeing trailers for this movie, and of course, I'm sure I would be remiss if I didn't mention the Jesse Plemons moment from the trailer that everybody... <laughs> I'm sure everybody has seen that moment online, um, even if they don't know what this movie is or you know, a fan of A24 or Alex Garland. They've seen that moment from the trailer with Jesse Plemons wearing the red glasses asking, what kind of American are you? Um, and, you know, I'm not even going to lie. To me, that was the selling point for this movie. Like, that right there, <laughs> the intensity um, of that scene, um, I'll just tell you right now, it's, it's yeah, it's, it's pretty intense. Um, so, yeah, like I said, that was pretty much the main thing that wanted me to see this movie was that moment from the trailer. Um, again, I am a huge A24 fan, as a lot of you guys know already. So I was probably going to see this movie anyways. Um, but they actually sent me a free ticket for this. If you're a member of the uh, AAA24 uh, membership thing that they do, they give you free tickets for movies um, here and there. I remember they gave me a free ticket one time for uh, Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Um, I want to say they gave me a free ticket for, um, something else. I can't remember. I'm sure there was one other one. Um, but it's really cool. It's a great program, you know, especially if you buy their merchandise, you get like a 10% off discount every time you buy something. Um, and they give you a free birthday gift. So definitely do it if you don't, you know, do it already. If you're into A24 and stuff, it's definitely worth it. Um, so they sent me a free ticket for this movie and they were showing this film in IMAX and you know what? I would have went to see it in IMAX, but the free ticket they sent me was for a standard showing. Um, it was Regal Cinemas only, which is fine. You know, I don't. That doesn't matter to me. Um, but I would have preferred to see this in IMAX. And now, having seen the film, yeah, IMAX definitely is ideal. I think this would have looked great in IMAX. Um, the cinematography in this film was excellent. I probably say that's out of everything in the movie: the acting, the directing, the action. That was probably my favorite aspect was the cinematography and it's ironic because the film is actually about a group of uh, photographers so <laughs> um yeah there's one scene in particular involving um flames um and that was probably the best looking part of the movie um the cinematography in this film was top notch um so the basic premise of the movie you got four characters essentially going on a road trip to get to washington dc from new york and their goal is to speak with the president and give him an interview um, in, in the midst of a modern-day civil war. Um, now, I'm not going to spoil anything in this movie, but um, there is not a ton of exposition, okay? So you kind of have to piece things together a little bit yourself. Um, there's actually like four or five different factions, you know, of uh, groups, I guess, in the United States in this civil war. You know, the original civil war in real life was just the North and the South. Whereas in this movie, there's a couple of factions, and there's little hints as to why things are happening the way they are. There's a mention of the S the FBI being dissolved, and I don't know. Um, so this movie, there's not a ton of exposition. So all you just need to know, really, there is a civil war going on in modern times, and the president, he's on his like third term or whatever. It's craziness. And to me, the thing that stood out for this movie to me is that like, this could happen in real life, okay? Um, I'm not going to get political or anything. Um, I'm not into politics whatsoever. You know, I, I don't care about any of that stuff. But the scary thing to me is that this could really happen, okay? Um, you know, people, the United States, of course, if you live in the U.S., you know, I do, um, you know 
there, there's a major gun problem here. You know, there's a lot of disagreements between people about all kinds of topics. And I really do think this could happen. This movie is very realistic. Um, there is no... It's not a satire in any way. I'll just say that. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely... This is a raw movie. Um, it's rated R, of course. There are some harrowing moments in this film. Um, Kirsten Dunst is the main character in the movie, and she is excellent in this movie. I haven't seen her in a ton of things. Obviously, the Spider-Man trilogy... Um, the Virgin Suicides by Sofia Coppola, great movie. She was great in that. Um, I've seen her in um, Fargo Season 2, of course, with Jesse Plemons, her real-life husband. Um, she was great in that, but this right here, this is her best performance I've ever seen. Um, I don't think I've seen her in anything else besides all that stuff I just listed. Um, she is, her character, you could tell. She's got that thousand-yard stare. Uh, <laughs> if you've seen Full Metal Jacket. Um... She's been through some shit, and she is fantastic in this movie. Her character, um, Lee, man, she <laughs> she's really good in this movie. Um, you got the other three characters in there. Um, Sammy is an older guy. He uh, and that actor, I, I don't know his name. He's the the bigger guy, the older guy. He's been in a lot of movies as of recent. Like he was in Dune. He was in um, Bo is Afraid. I see this guy in a lot of things. Um, and then you have the newcomer girl, Jessie. I don't know the actress's name, but she's really good in this movie. Um, she, you could tell. She is pretty much like, she's pretty much like our, as the audience, that's our viewpoint character because she's the newbie. She's seeing all this stuff for the first time, you know, um, up close. Um, so essentially these, these characters are photographers. They're the press. And they're pretty much a neutral party. Um, they literally get in on the action, but just with their cameras. So, like, instead of pointing guns, they're pointing cameras. And I feel like this movie has a message about that. I don't know what the message is, but there's definitely some sort of allegory there involving um, the des desensitization, I guess, because there's certain th moments in this movie where the characters, they will take photos of things they probably shouldn't be taking photos of without any remorse. Um... So I don't know if there's supposed to be some sort of message, you know, correlating uh, cameras with guns. I don't think so, but I know there's some sort of message with, like, the, the desensitization of, I don't know, just people who just kind of stand to the wayside as things occur in front of them. I'm not really sure. Um, again, I'm just a general movie reviewer. I don't break down and analyze what movies truly mean, you know. Um... I wouldn't say this movie's artsy-fartsy. You know, A24 is notorious for having a lot of artsy-fartsy movies, especially with their endings. Um, in this movie, a, there is a tiny bit at the, at the ending of this movie. Um, I feel like there was a little bit of artsy-fartsiness at the end. Um, but it was still very much like a realistic scenario that played out. The last scene of this movie is super tense, I'm telling you. Uh, <laughs> so, again, I wish I saw this in IMAX. I might see it again, I don't know. Um, if I do, it'll be an IMAX. But, uh, yeah, definitely check this one out. This one was very good. The, it was the action. Again, I this movie is a road trip movie. That's what it is. There is action in it, though. Don't get me wrong. There's a fair amount of it. And when there is, it's really well done. And, again, I would say probably the last scene of this movie, that's the best action um, in the whole movie. Um, and I got to talk about the scene with Jesse Plemons. Um, I'm sure I included it at the beginning of the video. But, man, that was scary. Uh, <laughs> yeah, his character was, was pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Um, definitely watch it, you know, like I said. Um, and there were, you know, aspects of the movie that I really, I really did enjoy. Like, I like certain scenes. There's one scene in particular where the characters drive through a town that's pretty much untouched by the war. Um, and they're like, how is this, how is this possible, you know? Um, but I like things like that because I'm, I'm a big fan of road trips in general. Um, road trip movies too, you know, whatever. But uh, like in real life, like I love road trips and seeing things like that, it's like, yeah, I can, this definitely feels like a stop, a place I would have stopped at on a road trip and like, oh, wow, look at this place. And I don't know. Um, there's definitely dark moments in the movie, but there's definitely positives like that. Um, but yeah, definitely give this movie a watch. It, it was really good. Um not quite a 10, though. You know, I feel like something was missing. Um, I don't know what it is. I feel like 
It has something to do with the ending. Maybe because, I mean, I understood what the ending was saying, but I don't know. Something just felt missing. Um, and the movie was short. It was, it's just under two hours, I think. Um, but I don't know. I feel like, I just feel like something was missing. I don't know what it is. Um, and I gotta mention too, this movie, to me at least, from the marketing and from what I've been hearing and the fact that it was an IMAX, this movie was a bigger budget A24 movie. And you can tell, um, the scale of this movie is much bigger than any A24 movie I've seen, um, that I can think of at the moment. Um, I might be forgetting something, but I don't know if this is the biggest one in terms of budget. I looked it up. It, it does have a $50 million budget, which to me, I think that's pretty high for A24. Normally they do indie movies, you know? Um... So, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. This movie is definitely bigger in scale. Um, it's not a full-on, like, war movie, so don't go into it thinking that. I'm sure some of the marketing may think, you know, not trick people into thinking that, but make them think, oh, yeah, this is like a war movie. Um, it is a war movie, but at its core, it is a road trip, and the main characters are not soldiers. They're photographers. Um, but, yeah, very cool movie. Um, honestly, as a rating... I mean, for the filmmaking alone, it's got to get, like, at least a nine, I think. It's very well done. Um, and the performances are great, obviously, like I said. And, you know, the action was great. And, you know, the pacing was fine, too. No issues with the pacing. But something, I don't know, just something felt missing. Like, when the movie ended, it was the right moment to end the movie. And you'll know what I mean when you see it, trust me. Um... But I don't know, something just felt missing when the movie ended. Like, I was like, man, I don't know, I kind of wanted something more with... I don't want to spoil anything, but, you know, uh, you might you know, I know what I mean when you see it. You might be like, oh yeah, I kind of I kind of agree. It kind of ended somewhat abruptly, I guess. Um, but still, very, very good movie. Um, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10, I think that's fair. Um, not quite a 10 or anything like that. Um... But yeah, definitely check it out. So that's really about it. Um, let me know what you guys thought of the film in the comments. Um, did you think the movie is going to be something different? Um, I personally thought there'd be a little more action in it. But again, I love road trip stuff, so I didn't have any issue with that. I thought that was fine. Um, yeah, so anyways, thank you guys for watching, and have a good one. Bye-bye.